my dear listeners of Voice of Saints. Today, we commemorate the feast of St. Pelagia the Penitent, who was born in Turkey in 4th century. Before she was baptized, she was head of a dance troupe and lived as a prostitute. One day, Pelagia was passing by a church dressed with very elegant and provocative clothing. Bishop Nonus was preaching at that moment. Even though the parishioners turned their faces away from the sinner, the bishop noticed in her the inner beauty and spiritual greatness. Later, in his cell, he prayed for the sinner and learned that she took care of the adornment of her body to appear beautiful. The following day, Pelagia went to hear the preaching of the bishop. He was talking about the last judgment and its consequences. She was so moved and impressed by the sermon that with the tears in her eyes, she asked Bishop to baptize her. Seeing her sincere wishes and repentance, the Bishop agreed. The same night, the devil appeared to her and asked her to return to her former life. But she prayed and signed herself the sign of the cross and then the devil disappeared. She gave all her wealth and valuables to the bishop so that he could distribute them and give them to aid the poor. Then the bishop ordered to distribute them and said, Let this be wisely dispersed so that the wealth gained by sin may become the wealth of righteousness. Then she left Antioch dressed in man's clothes. After that, Pelagia journeyed to the Mount of Olives in Jerusalem, where she became hermitess and lived in a cell disguised as the monk Pelagius. There, she lived in great austerity, performing many penances in ascetic seclusion, which helped her to attain many spiritual gifts. At her death, she was buried in a cell. She was known as the beardless monk until her gender was discovered when she died. So, today we too are welcome to change our lives so that we also may become the true follower of God. So once again, my dear listeners of Voice of Saints, I wish you a happy feast. May God bless us all. Amen.